This is the Bowers Group Verse 9F suppressor. It's designed to be affordable, small, and efficient. With a full auto rating and a sub $600 price tag, the only thing that I want to find out, is it any good? Let's dive into it after this. TA Targets offers some of the most innovative and robust target systems money can buy. Featuring AR550 steel and forward-thinking build quality, these targets are built to last. Whether you're blasting every day or plinking on the weekends, TA Targets has something for everyone. To get 10% off of anything you order, use the code TGC10 over at tacticalar500targets.com. I'll start this out by giving you guys full disclosure. We have known Bowers Group for years and consider them to be good friends. They have supported us with both friendship, of course, and sponsorship over the years, but we are under zero obligation to, and frankly, they wouldn't want us to, sugarcoat any of this. The Verse 9S is part of a larger family of cans that Bowers makes that all use the Ames mounting system and uses their VersaDap thread adapters. Basically, it's an interchangeable direct thread mounting system for more thread pitches than I've seen from any other brand. This particular silencer is not your typical 9mm can in that it is not really meant for use on a regular semi-auto pistol, but rather a PCC or even a machine gun. Bowers actually made a name for themselves making stuff specifically for submachine gun. This one is rated for 9mm, but of course, will also handle subsonic 30 cal loads as well. It comes in at 8.6 inches long and 1.75 inches in diameter, but only weighs in at 15 ounces. Now that we have the specs out of the way, let's shoot it. Our test gun was a kel Sub-2000 with both go. super and subsonic loads. Send it when ready. To me, this can represents the more simplistic side of the market. There isn't a bunch of fancy marketing that's around it. The styling is very clean and there isn't any like whiz bang new crazy materials that you never heard of being used. However, it doesn't seem to need those. The tone on this can is comparable to top tier pistol cans that I've shot. It sounds very, very similar. It does a really good job bringing the nine millimeter to a shoot without ear pro level with supers and then does even better with subsonic ammo. There are gonna be some subs coming up so you'll hear the difference between supers and subs. That was neat. With subs, this thing really does an excellent job although I guess that's expected. All right, so I've got an entire mag full of subs here. We're gonna see how it sounds with the Bowers suppressor. Ready? And to stop teasing you, it comes in at a retail price of 535 bucks with the standard adapter. That's solid value for money. Is it the smallest can on the market? Nope. Is it rated to take a beating? Yeah, big resounding yeah. Does it have decent sound suppression? Absolutely. I know that having a sound meter and fancy numbers on the screen would probably be a big deal for some of you guys, but for us, it doesn't tell the entire story. And besides, those numbers really vary based on atmospheric conditions, the environment you're shooting in, the ammunition loads. There are a lot, and that only tells a very small picture of what's going on with the can. To me, this is a rugged suppressor that comes in at a good price and would be at home on any nine mil PCC. I'm curious to know what you guys think. What kind of gun would you use something like this on? Do you think it makes sense to buy one of these over all of the other options that are on the market? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It helps feed the algorithm monster, of course. Feed me. I'm starving! Must be blood. Must be fresh. And if you think we've earned it, get subscribed as well. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Recording this whole time? I don't know. Show me your butt. <laughs> shake it, girl. Do a jig. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you like that internet? <laughs>